Okay, we are back, and now it is time for us to talk to the acrobat. Um, so let's see what he has to say. Acro, why did you... Hey, Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. So, so you have motive. <laughs> the ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to murder him. I mean, I decided to do something very important. Like murder him! <laughs> I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes, I think he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute, she tr she's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm... Wait to attack the hint of a grudge against Regina. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Uh, uh. Ooh. Uh -huh. Cyclops. Doesn't seem like Agro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. When the world went on at the circus then? Okay, so let's do the next thing. I saw it by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, uh, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I, when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What did you see, Acro? That night... I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. Seeing the crime was right below your window? That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Nick. Hmm. Uh, uh. Also... 
Why is he on the third floor if he's in a wheelchair? And there's, like, how does he get up the stairs? <laughs> just, just thinking. Um, you know, we never got to examine most of this room. So let's... Because we did this, and then it was like the the, th the investigation edit. So let's do that, I guess. Uh, you can see the big top from the window here. There's no snow on top of the big top. Kind of weird, don't you think? Okay, we did see this one. Uh, it's a huge pile of trash from this church. Another like trash. Sure, look at all the shiny things. They call this thing oh a tuba, right? Of course it's a tuba, silly. You didn't know that. Hey, it's a picture of Regina. Well, she is a shining beauty. No objections here. Ugh. Um. Hey, the net's ripped. Money must be prone to breaking things. He's hardcore. Um, but that looks fine to me. Really think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkeys live life above the rib, you know. Joke, right? You think the monkey has got proverbial game? Of course, that monkey doesn't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. Well, a prehensile tail might be an unfair advantage. It's a monkey calendar. We must really love monkeys. This bed is incredibly well made. It's almost like a maid made it up. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Nick, there's nothing unusual about that at all. It's how things are supposed to be. Can't a man respect another man for doing something said man cannot do? Hmm, <laughs> he's got a barbell. Look around, everything he's got is for upper body training. Wait a second. These are the same machines I see on TV all the time. Hey, Nick. What? I don't have this one. This barbell here is a new model. Don't overdo it, mine. You don't want to end up with muscle woman. I mean... You know what she, I'm thinking? She does, it's fine. <laughs> what? I'm thinking, what if he was at line? Because it seems like he has the upper body strength to pull someone up. So that... What if he pulled up... Uh... The guy yeah, who that's a good master. point. That's a good point. Um, I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Uh, let's try some stuff. Okay, that's the generic mm. line. That's what we want to know. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the generic. Mm. <laughs> Who's posting the cafeteria the morning before the murder? I should have known when it showed the actually showed the <laughs> item. Um. <clears throat> In the cafeteria? What happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. It's got something to do with her. Then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina. Ask her about it. Oh, interesting. Um... Maximilian Galactica, right? You'll have to forgive me but I try not to think about them. I won't even look at it. It looks like something is really weighing on him. Interesting. Um, I guess let's try the Mangatama. See what we can get. I have to ask you, you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Akro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Um, oh, I don't think we have this. <laughs> I don't think we have anything for this. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Okay, it's fine. I mean, oh, uh, wait, you do lose health, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. yeah. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Usually we don't have the 
clues to break one of those right when we find it. So, yes, yeah. let's go. We haven't been back to Moe's room yet. Okay. Um, we do also need to talk to Regina. Yes, yes. Uh, let's go back to the entrance. Okay. It's new there. Urgh. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Raw. Ah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! Oh god, okay. <clears throat> Drink some water first. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A mistake Yeah, little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Okay. I like to figure out a way to do this voice that's actually sustainable. Or if I have to do it in court. Because <laughs> <laughs> I will. I guarantee you she's going to be on that stand at some point. Okay. Russell Berry. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been a quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. <clears throat> now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A, a star? That means that my dad looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone's everyone's doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why do you want to teach money money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should. When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Oh, so many choices! Ah, <laughs> oh, the illusion of choice. Yep. Um, but of course. Leave it up to- leave it all up to us. Guess there's no turning down that request. Yeah, you're really gonna do it. Okay, uh, let's- we have to show her stuff. So, maybe we start with the, the Grand Prix photo. Oops. You. Okay. Oh, we're hitting the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> There's no denying it. Max is cool. I want to try flying someday with Max. She's already flown off into her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying too. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. Oh, interesting. Um. Gina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. R really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It, it was in your pocket? That piece of paper was in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. 
I'm gonna go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's, that's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket. Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's pocket. And then what? You wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Hmm. So it was Regina who put it up there. Hmm. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. You wonder who wrote this. Interesting. Um... I think that's all we have for her. Let's go cycle through to some other areas, see if we can find something new. Hmm, oh, it's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Nick, it's money. That monkey's holding something. Oh, that must be the, the outfit she talked about. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? All right, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's beat the shit out of this monkey. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going with ooh, 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 scratch, scratch. <clears throat> ooh. <laughs> Yikes. Ah. Tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. That's mean. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I guess let's go give that back to Regina. God, I love cycling through all these areas. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Uh, it's nothing. I wonder guys melt too much in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Le Leon's. L Leon's? You, you know, the, the lion she told us about. <clears throat> oh, the one that someone killed? Hmm. That was the other thing I was thinking, because they did mention, the, like, the lo killing the lion, I guess putting it down is my, what, my, what my assumption was. But maybe that was the other murder <clears throat> they were referring to? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. See, I was thinking, like, something, like, an accident happened at the circus that, like, we just didn't know about yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, perhaps. Let's see. Leon. Leon. He was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth, you know, gaw. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. People in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They always start screaming. 
You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah, I you know, bit someone during that practice. R Regina, everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. I think... Okay. So I think they're implying that he bit Acro. It's kind of what I was thinking. Um... Just to cover bases. Especially because, like, they said... Uh, she said they... Uh, the lion bit someone. Not someone in the crowd, just someone. Yeah. Well, they uh, no, they said during... She said during practice. Yeah. Oh, it, it was during practice. Okay, yeah. So then yeah, it, so it, it had to be one of the... So it had to be, yeah. Yeah. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro du Cirque, a.k.a. the cafeteria. Mm, it smells so good in here. Those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce. They're absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet I can tell by the smell. Well, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Okay. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about the past the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know... The tragedy, you know? What is he talking about? Head over? What tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing, nothing at all. You know, the great... <laughs> what was it? <laughs> the, the greatest, uh, most ter awful, most despair-inducing tragedy the world has ever yeah. seen? Something yeah, yeah, it was something ones. like that. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. Uh, huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing, nothing at all. You must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, Curly. <laughs> dang, 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 correct the moon, though. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo, well, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Eh, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can get over the tragedy seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm right, aren't I? Oh boy, okay. More Cyclops. He only has two. Hmm, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. I was just a little, it was just a little accident. Give me a break, as old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? And maybe that has also something to do with the... Okay, what's... Uh, I guess we should try it and see. Unless... Yeah. We should... I mean, you have the line, so yeah, I guess uh, try doing that with uh, the thingy, the Magu... Uh, yeah, the Magu Doma. Okay. Yeah. See what we can get. I get the feeling we probably don't have this, this either right now. Get over it with Bennett Foddy? Uh, Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? 
Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scared when you ask me. Hey, look over there. Some juicy burgers. Let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh, actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Hmm? Well, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? Okay, I think that's the one. I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you... I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting your head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo, don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person that you promised you wouldn't say anything? You must have been Acro, right? How, how did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No, no way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. Yay. Nice. They gave us <laughs> they gave us a softball. Yeah. And you got your health back. Yep, for now. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive, but when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Oh, so it wasn't Acro who got bit. Huh. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. That's all he's ever going to be able to do. I I see. Was he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. A brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers. Acro went bad. Cute nicknames, I thought. Very, very, uh, very imaginative. Yeah. You know what? That does kind of create some motive for growing. Yeah, I guess. So I'm 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 still I feel like I'm still on the right track of maybe like he pulled him up. Like he like Akira wasn't the murderer, but maybe he helped pull up and that's why it looked like he you know the guy, the murderer was flying or floating rather. Yeah. I think so too. I think so, too. The question just, of course, is who was the actual murderer? Um, yeah. But then also, we still don't really know why you'd want to kill Russell and frame Max. Well, I guess framing Max isn't really that I mean, everybody really hates him. So. Everyone hates Max. But killing yeah. Russell is the part that I'm unsure about. Mm -hmm. um, because it does... I mean, like, Russell... Maybe it's just that he thinks, like, because the, the circus was the way it was because of Russell, and, like, Regina, like, he's clearly spoiled Regina, so, like, it led to the environment that that, that accident led to. So maybe it's only along those lines. Maybe. But still, I don't know. Anyway. Anyways, they were, an, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Um, who's Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling, but everyone always called him Bat. Fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Oh, maybe that's a factor too. Mm. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. It's almost like she's the only the only girl in this entire fucking circus. <laughs> Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, "Let me perform with Leon." Well, why do you do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. 
I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. Eh, you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way. That's impossible. It's a murky lion, a flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick, can lion smile? Um... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. Next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Now, well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. Paul's truthfulness has put me in a mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Chaka, chaka, chaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah! Uh, uh, a chew, a chew. Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh, you think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's basic clamanship. Girlie, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cute, a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with pepper. That. From my point of view, those two always look so perfect. They look perfect together, huh? Anyway. Um. Okay. Oh, I guess let's. Wait. We haven't shown him the note. Oh, wait, no. He, we found the note with him. Never mind. He, um, he gave us the note. Although, we didn't maybe have the full you need note. to. See, let's see here. To the murderer. That's far from blight. Where did you find the rest of this note anyway? Because I forgot. He gave us the first half of the note. So he didn't see the whole note yet. Maybe it'd be best if I didn't tell Mo where we found it. Don't worry about it, Mo. If I didn't need to worry about it, you shouldn't have shown it to me. Okay. What were you going to say? Um, I was thinking maybe go back to aggro. Like, now since you have the line, maybe that might be one of the things to unlock, uh... Yeah, I think, I think we probably have all the information we need for that. Um... Yeah, because now you have Bat, you have the line, I don't know... He has also, three, right? I don't yeah, know he has three, but we'll figure it out. It's probably... I yeah. think we have the information we need. Also, he's even older than Max. God damn it. Why couldn't he have been, like, you know, similar age to make this novel? Yeah, I was thinking, like, oh, he's, maybe he's Akra's younger brother, or maybe he's, like, the same age as Regina. No, no. No. Um. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wright, back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? That was Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're thinking of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> we're back because our Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, it seems you've got s got things you want to talk about. So fire away. Okay. When he said take, it, like, whenever he says take that, I just imagine he, like, throws a Magatama at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so we saw this already. He's lying. Uh, are you really telling me that the practice accident was caused for injury? Um, oh, that's the interesting thing. Because we know that the lion actually didn't bite him. Well, let's try it anyway. Yeah, okay. Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. So you were injured. Okay. I don't have the right track. I just need to keep going. 
You're saying I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Ray, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battled the lion. Oh. Mm, that, you know what? That, that makes, I guess that makes kind sense. Of, yeah. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Okay. Oh, then I guess show his brother. Yep. Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. <laughs> Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they were an incredible team. Got down together in their prime. Ah. Got mm. down together. That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Akro's last psych law. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. Guessing mm. Regina. So you did mention that he doesn't like Regina. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. And the lion. It's the lion, so it's related to her. Yeah. Makes sense. R Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> He wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on is spurred on Leon to attack, but are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina is incapable of doing anything like that. In fact, she can't do anything. Yeah. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I overdid it again. If I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Ooh, okay. Uh... Oh, okay. it's uh... no... Because she realized she had the note in her pocket when she went to breakfast after giving Acro his food. So she's the one who slipped it into her pocket. So it was a note for her from him calling her a murderer. Gotcha. Okay, she just you know what being that means? Makes... was like, I'm not a murderer. I guess someone missed this book, placed this. Uh, you know what? This makes much more sense. Yeah, why well, would. would do you have an idea? Uh, no, because again, like we talked about it before, like why would it be directed at the, you know, the ringmaster? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, still, yeah, like, that's you true. know, like uh, the, yeah, it makes more the, sense that he doesn't like Regina, but yeah, because I'm like the lion. It's like why would he care that the lion was killed? No. Um. Yeah. Or why would he blame that like, on Russell? But I guess the the question like, is still, how does this tie it back? To the this murder, yeah. to the Russell's murder. Yeah, I'm, so I'm it's still starting unsure. to make a lot more sense. But I'm still it, unsure it, on like, that exactly, yeah, but it. yeah. This, did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. For that, it was in her pocket. It's funny because I actually did show him the note. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm, I guess I noticed it was it was in there around breakfast time. It was take Akro's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Yay, the rest of your life. Yay. Okay. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother Bat had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. I could put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do. You have to go to the movies with me on a date. What's a movie? That's insane. <laughs> Didn't you know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid, too. That line was very old to begin with. An age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. We just wanted to take her out to the movies. We're bad. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about that? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason I keep going. Pat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is a scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf... is a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh. When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick. I know, most of the same thing. What do you think it all means? Um, I'm guessing that's uh, on karma. On karma, yeah. yeah. I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Yep. Miss Von Karma, I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. <sighs> I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I, I've served a summons Acro to appear at court tomorrow as a witness. Acro will talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Whip me good. <laughs> well, that's why one of my legs wasn't working. The other one is because she kept whipping me. Yep. <laughs> now, now what do we do, Nick? How are you going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. Okay. I think this is a good time to uh, call it. Yep, we will get to the trial next time. That, so that's it for investigation.